set's dead. The hollow's yours. They say you strung him up on the old Ferris wheel. He killed Ellis. Shit all over the people in this neighborhood. Doucette got what he deserved. The righteous will rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He will bathe his feet in the blood of the wicked. <gasps> mm. That goes both ways, you know. Thought you said all that was behind us. My men are struggling with the notion that we now have to answer to the same men who killed Baca. He wiped out half our number. If I was them, I'd get over it. We don't have time to go around coddling people. Mm, of course not. But gestures carry weight. And if you were to help my man Emmanuel, that's a gesture that would go a long way in calming nerves. What's he need? He oversees my reefer operation over at the boathouse. Help him, and I'll see to it you get a potion of the Crawfords. Just so we're clear, I'm expected to cut everything, not just what comes from selling weed. It's gonna cost a lot of money to take down Marcano. Don't worry. I'll make sure you get your money. Come on. Problem? This goddamn thing keeps jamming up. If you're ready to see the other briefings, we can get started. Show me what else you managed to dig up. You got it. Two of the city's finest scumbags. Oh, yes. Point for Dunn's favorite son, Thomas Burke. How's he doing since Danny? <laughs> Nine weeks ago, Burke stumbles into Roman the Butcher Barbieri's deli, drunk off his ass, waving a gun around. He fires off ten rounds, but the only thing he manages to hit is a fucking ham hock in the goddamn deli case. The Butcher's boys slap the shit out of him and toss him in a dumpster. Barbieri's the one who took over Point for Dunn, right? Busted up Burke's leg with a tire iron. That's why Burke was willing to go along with the robbery. He thought it'd make things square with Sal, and he'd be able to get point for done back. Well, he always struck me as an asshole. Yeah, just like every other Irishman. But he hates Marcano as much as you do. Yeah, all right. Least I can do is give Danny's old man a chance for a little payback. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> He's been spending his time in a dive bar up in point for done. Duffy's, it's called. Shouldn't be too hard to find. You know, you better be worth all this trouble. The man himself, Mr. Vito Scaletta. You gotta be shitting me. Last couple months have been pretty tough on old Vito. Sal's always hated him. Thought he was a mole for the commission, but he couldn't do anything about it because Vito's maid. After the heist, Sal refused to pay Vito his cut. And then he put the clamps on him. He's been trying to limit Vito's ability to pay what's owed. And if Scaletta can't kick up, the commissioner give Marcano permission to whack him. The only reason that Vito is still above ground is because he has a couple off-the-record businesses. He's been using that money to pay Sal. Got to give Scaletta credit. Pretty goddamn tenacious. He's lasted a lot longer than I thought he would, but the clock is ticking. A couple weeks ago, Sal sent in his nephew, a kid named Michael Greco, to help Vito run River Row. Greco's been using his guys to limit what Vito can do, where he can go. Once he has Vito completely boxed in, he'll make his move. Scaletta has to know what Greco has planned. I'll pay him a visit. See if I can not leverage this thing with Greco to bring Scaletta around in my way of thinking. I'm sure I'll appreciate your concern. 
Oh, watch yourself around my files. There's a system. <laughs> I want to visit in the of ours. But the goddamn bayou most definitely. Try over here, fellas. Pointer turned the TV off. The captain put his mouth uh, on the door. I'm done with this shit. It's all him. Let's go. Okay, move. He's picking us up. Just in time, Vito. Lincoln. How's this possible? I thought you were dead. The bullet was deflected by my skull. Came out the back. Talk about some goddamn luck. It's the worst place to shoot a fella's in the forehead. The skull's harder than you think. <clears throat> Come on. We need to have a talk. When I heard about what happened, I went to Marcano, asked for my cut right then and there. I figured if he fucked you and Sammy, I'd be next. I'm guessing he didn't go for it. 
Said he wanted to wait for the heat to die down. Didn't want me running around, buying expensive shit, getting noticed. Like I'm some fucking amateur never set on a big score before. The money I fronted for the robbery was pretty much everything I put away. Didn't have enough to run, so... I stayed. The commission wouldn't let him just kill me, so I figured I'd make that cocksucker jump through every hoop. Make him prove I deserve to get whacked. It wasn't much, but it was something. Heard he brought his nephew to push you out. A kid named Michael Greco. Nephew by marriage, not blood. Sure didn't number in here. Yeah. They were looking to see what other rackets I was running. I could leave a fucking paper trail in my office. Eh, don't bother with that shit. Look, uh... Appreciate you getting me out of the freezer and all, but, uh... What are you doing here? Marcano deserves to pay for what he did, so I'm going after him. Him, his brothers, his lieutenants, all of them. And I'm gonna need your help. Look, you pretty much whittled me down to nothing. I mean, this is it. For now, maybe. Once I take back River Road from Greco, Money will start coming in, it'll be a different story. Those are partners now. As long as you do what I say and give me what I want when I want. <laughs> so goodbye, Marcano, hello, Lincoln Clay. It's either that or more of this. Next time, I won't be around to fish your ass out the freezer. Nobody kills that scumbag but me. You bring me Greco. Tell me about his rackets. He took over the dock union and he's got a warehouse. The kid has a lot of valuable shit in there. You take both of them out. Greco's finished. A couple of my guys been keeping tabs on him. You should talk to them. They'll fill you in. All right. Says you're reliable. Vito said you'd be expecting me. Took you long enough. I'm Jock Blanchard. Vito claims you can unfug this mess and get us working men back on a job. Maybe. Depends if your information's any good. Used to kick up to Vito's men, Andy Toretto, for union work. But now that Coyon Greco got Andy squeezing everybody for more dues. You don't pay, you don't get a work permit. Poor fucks even gotta use Greco's loudmouth buddies to collect. This Greco sounds like a real piece of shit. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. On top of that, Andy's gotta keep the permits under lock and key. Anything happens to those, oof. Ain't no work happening around here. I'll see what I can get out of Toretto's people. Toretto runs a tight ship, but you should be able to get some of his guys talking. I've been working for Vito for a while now. You ask me, Marcano never gave him a fair fucking chance. My nephew just got back from now. Nothing to see here. Take off. Nothing to see here. Take off. That way. About time you recognize your place. Whatever it takes to find you, boy! Don't stick around, go! Can't find this motherfucker anywhere. Let's get this show on the road. Some of us want to work. Let's get this show on the road. Some of us want to work. Go, go, go! Don't kill her out here. Let's get this show on the road. Some of us want to 
gonna work. Cock sucker! can't understand is what kind of idiot makes his last stand at an old fun park. From what I hear, Richie wasn't gonna be winning no awards for his smarts. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. What are we doing here, man? Bow pitching in with that crocker motherfucker? Letting him lose a whole piece of the city? Sal's up to something big. Let's get this Looks like Richie, the old Sammy, they was just little pieces in it. All of us wanna work. Whatever it is, it's way above what you and me get paid to know. Hey, boss, you got anything for me to do? Ah! kinds of Ivy League schooling. But if you show up to an interview with me, me today. wearing one of them commie Nehru jackets, bye-bye forever. Go smoke your dope somewhere else. Now let's get this show on the road.
Find your dues ready, fellas. Man with a gun. All units, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrol. Repeat, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrol. Come tussle with a motherfucker, your own side. Union. I'm surprised Tavero's not out in the street and hunting you himself. Word is Andy Toretto's down at the Dock Union, demanding to know who's been stopping his people from collecting dues. Think he tipped off Greco to what's been happening? Nah. Knowing Andy, he'd probably see Greco in the ground next to you if he could. But he's a lifer, and if he's got a job to do, he's gonna goddamn well do it. Bad fucking situation all around. And it's about to get worse. Tell the boys they'll be back to work soon, Jock. You pissed Toretto off just enough that he's back at the dock union. You're gonna have to deal with him. There! Get him! You wanna get shot? Ah! New tag! Run for cover! Say goodnight to me. I'm stuck! It's too bad! trouble. You kill me, or that piss and Greco does. Well, since Greco ain't here. Oh. 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 
The dock union's under control. Put some of you guys on it. You took those fucks out, huh? Good job, pal. I'll send some guys to keep watch. Get the warehouse, and we get Greco. Easy as your mama's fucking pie. Today, I'm sure the file on Vito Scaletta is about three feet thick, but that wasn't always the case. Hoover didn't even acknowledge the Mafia existed until 1957, so we weren't really keeping tabs on guys like Vittorio Scaletta till after that. Now, we know he served in World War II and did a six-year stint in prison for theft and illegal distribution of federal rations. It's, uh, it's generally believed he was a made member of the Falcone family in Empire Bay, though he's also a suspect in the death of Don Carlo Falcone. Now, if he did kill the Don, Vito must have had friends in high places because he was allowed to live. He was exiled, though, and forced to relocate down here, and the commission convinced Sal Marcano to make Vito a lieutenant and give him some rackets. Vito sent me. You're Connie, right? Yup. Connie DeMarco. Been keeping an eye on the smuggling business for Vito. Roy Thibodeau's in charge now, and it's a damn shit show. Why hasn't Greco bounced him yet? Oh, he bounced Roy right into a hole if he got to say so. Greco didn't pick Roy, and that puts a target on his back. Still, Roy's trying to sell the usual shit from out of Cuba. Cigars and rum, mostly. Hell, rumor has it they even selling medicine and shit to the Cubans. Sounds like Greco's scrambling. <laughs> Imagine Greco thought his uncle Sal would give him a break, but no. So he's squeezing everyone, including Roy. If business gets any worse, Roy's gonna have to come down and see to it himself. Mind, Roy's got a few guys here and there. Might take some persuading, but I'll get him to talk. You get hold of any Roy's guys yet? They're sure to talk if you, uh, ask just right. What's this shitty fuck want?
Huh? Storms out of your ass, because we got twelve. I'll fight him and pound him. You boys see that? That shit's all in. <laughs> Y'all see that? Holy fuck! Some private shit. He's all yours, boys. Anybody follow you? Boy, it's rattled. Scared of Greco. Terrified of you. <laughs> Heard he started sleeping at the warehouse. It's the only place he feels safe. Good. Means I have an easier time getting my hands on him. Once he's taken care of, we'll move in. Vito will turn things around. You'll see. That poor fucker Roy is back at the warehouse. Do what you gotta do. This kind of thing's good for fellas like us. That can't be good. Fucker packed it in. We're done here. Asshole ain't gonna shake me. Somewhere. Maybe he's over there. Huh? Okay, but not by myself. <laughs> i 
middle. Dead asshole, 12 o'clock. Your time is up, mother... You gotta be here somewhere, boys. Killing our fucking crew! Need you guys to secure the smuggling operation at the warehouse. I'll send them over. And Lincoln, just cause Greg goes a dipshit doesn't mean he's a pushover. He'll probably send out some of his men, have him try and take you out. So watch your ass. Get your hands on Greco and rough him up all you want. But don't kill him. That's for me. tank destroyer battalion during World War II. I trained as a medic, but I still carried a gun. Every man in our company was black. Army didn't know what to do with us other than they didn't want us fighting with the white men. Klimbach. Klimbach was that little French town up there near the border with Germany, and we were ordered to take it. Now, the Krauts took out three of the four anti-tank guns we had, but there was no way in hell we were letting them get the better of us. We were determined to show we were just as good, if not better, than every other soldier in the service. I, I don't like talking about medals I got over there. Only way a man survives something like that is through the grace of God. Doesn't seem right. Celebrate 
a little piece of tin. No one knows I helped Link except for you and John Donovan. Not that I'm keeping a secret, mind you. Just that nobody ever came around and asked about it. 